And for Messy Church this week, we are looking at the Good Samaritan. Okay, so you've probably know the story pretty well by now. We're going to make a Good Samaritan um, figure, but we're going to do the wounded man. There he is, okay. And as you can see, I've just got my felt tips and I've put him a nice jacket on and a sad face and some hair. Oh, and I've done some fancy sandals for him for walking through the desert where he went. Um, so I'm going to finish him off now by just adding a few um, marks with a red felt tip um, because he's a bit wounded. So I'm just um, putting little bits of blood all over him. Poor chap. Aww. Very sad, isn't it? But he felt really sorry for himself. Okay, so that's how he looked when the Good Samaritan came by. Saw him all wounded with blood coming all over from him. Very sad. So then the Samaritan put some bandages on him. So in your pack you've got some bandages. Now what I've done, I've just cut them up into nice little pieces so that um, I can put some bandages on my man. Um, I think I might put one on his eye. So with your glue or your glue stick or your sellotape you can add oh look at his poor eye dear oh dear and I think he's going to have a wounded leg and a bit of a there we are I've added some padding on his leg look Poor chap. And I'm just going to put some bandage around his arm. Um, you can put whatever you like. You can have some fun doing this. It's, um, you can get carried away. Bandage the whole chap. And thank goodness that the Good Samaritan stopped. And we need to think about that. It's easy to walk past when someone's in distress they're a bit sad and need cheering up it's easy to walk past and think it's nothing to do with us but thank goodness the Samaritan stopped and there we are so he's bandaged up and I had fun doing that hope you have fun doing yours too bye for now